Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina, the side hustle queen, coming to you with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my white smelts. I make white smelts, I started in, you know, dabbling into the candles, because if you're part of my Facebook group, you know I've been doing pop-up shops to help promote my business. And I like to add new things to the pop-up shop because tumblers is my main thing. And I want to add things that people can easily pick up even if they did not want a tumbler. And I thought, you know, candles and wax melts would be a great add to the hustle. So I'm going to show you guys my famous wax melt recipe. Today I'm going to give it all to you so that you can get your side hustle on. Maybe you want to make some for some gifts for holidays, you know, add it to your little side hustle, add it to your little pop-up shops. This is something that you're gonna really enjoy making. It's super easy and it's quick to make. But before we get started, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and become a member of my Facebook group, Side Hustle Queen Creations. We almost to 1,000 members. I'm so excited about that. And don't forget if you're looking for those sublimation blanks, if sublimation earrings, sublimation tote bags, sublimation tumblers, kids cups coming in. I have the sublimation um, hookahs. Make sure you head over to my website, Side Hustle Queen Creation. Grab you some of those, those sublimation blanks. I even got journals I added to the website this week. Make sure you head over there and grab you some of them sublimation blanks. I'm putting together another sublimation blank starter kit because I keep selling out so I'm going to get ready to put another one together and also if you're just looking for a custom tumbler grab you some of them tumblers I do custom tumblers on my website they $15 cheapest in town make sure you grab one but we're gonna get back to these white smelts these white smelts has been tested fully tested this recipe has been fully tested and actually been sold also at my pop-up shops I even had a customer who ordered the watermelon. She Well, she didn't order, she just picked up one of the watermelons at one of my pop-up shops, messaged me, and actually asked for four different flavors. That's how good these white smell sauce, they are, they are very strong. I use them at my house. I actually had did the watermelon. I used the, just the um, plug-in white smelts, and um, I had ran the watermelon, cut them off for like five hours later, I had company, and they was like, What's that watermelon smell? You burning the candle? I was like, no, I burned white smelts like five hours ago. And they actually purchased white smelts right there on the spot. So I know they are strong smelling and they easy to make. So we're going to get right into this video. I'm going to show you guys all the products you need. We're going to make a set of white smelts. And we're going to talk about the cost and how much profit you're going to make when you make your very own white smelt if you want to resell them. So let's get started. For this project, you're gonna need a scale. You're gonna need some type of a stirring utensils. I got this wooden spoon <clears throat> in a set, I think from Dollar Tree. Some type of thermometer. I have this thermometer and I have like one of the turkey based into thermometers. You can use either or. I like this one because it's digital, but some of the heat um, melted it a little bit, but I still, it's still usable. Um, you're also gonna need your fragrance oil. Today, we're gonna to be making some Jamaica Me Crazy um, white smelts. I get my fragrance oil from Candle Science. Uh, I just love that. I tried, I bought some fragrance oil. I bought Jamaica Me Crazy from Candle Science when they was running they, um, they testers. They had them like buy one, get one free um, a couple of weeks back and I got a bunch of different flavors. And I tested some with white smelts and candles and Jamaica Me Crazy and bamboo coconut sold out immediately so i had to reorder some you're also going to need you a melting pitcher i actually got my melting pitcher from um joann's i at the time they was having a 60 percent off coupon on the regular um item so i was able to use a 60 percent off coupon and i actually got me a, a bigger pouring pot i have a smaller one but i got this one for only dollars a couple of dollars <clears throat> you're going to also need some clam shells we're gonna be making 16 ounces of, uh, we're using 16 ounces of wax, which is one pound, and you can make a total of seven clam shells with one pound of wax. I use this here little soap metal thing to break up my wax. I also use some Dollar Tree gloves because one of the waxes that we're gonna go over is kind of uh, creamy light, so I don't really like to get it on my hands, so I use the gloves. And you're gonna need something that you can pour your 
fragrance oil in when you wear wearing it out. I use these little glass shot shot glasses. I don't know where I got them from, a Dollar Tree or somewhere, but they work perfect. They glass. You don't have to worry about the wall melting. Like if you lose maybe like the yellow little plastic cups or something like that. Sometimes the fragrance oils will leak through a, a, a bust a cup. So I just got these um, shot glasses that work. They work just perfect. They glass. They work perfect. So for this recipe, I use um. I got it wrote down right here, you guys. I write down all of them. Every time I run and test on stuff, I write it down. And once it come out good, that become my sheet. So um, for this one right here, I'm using two ounces of the paraffin 4625. I use this because it makes the other wipes um, harder. Because I like, um, we're going to be using for the 14 ounces, we're going to be using 14 ounces of the IG 6006, which is a little bit softer wax. I got my IG 6006 from Virginia Candles. Yes, Virginia Candle Supply. I actually found them on Amazon. I was buying my wax at first from Candle Science, but it's like $25 for a 10 pound, but then you have to pay $25 for shipping. So you're looking at $50 just to get a 10 pound. Now with Amazon, it costed $35 and it actually, this box was actually 11 pounds of IG 6006, I used it with the white smells. I used it on candles and it works just fine. I actually just recently found a candle supply company right in Pompano, which is closer to me. I will be visiting a location on next Friday. So hopefully I can do away with the whole shipping cost. So if you're thinking about getting into candles, maybe white smells, anything like that, try to find you a candle company that's close by so that you can avoid the cost of the shipping. Okay. So um, that's about it. So we're gonna get ready to start mixing. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is weigh, weigh out your wax. Because I use the double boiler method to melt down my wax. We're gonna go in the kitchen after we get our wax melt, um, measured out and I'm gonna show y'all just how I melt, melt down my wax. So the first thing you wanna do is cut on your scale and you want to put your melting pot on top of the scale and you want to hit the tear button because you want to zero it out because right now the scale is at 9.63 ounces which is the weight of the pot so you want to tear it out it all have straight lines i already weighed out my 4625 wax so we're going to go ahead and put that in i already know that's two ounces of wax i pre-did that wax because the the um 4625 wax is a hard wax so when it come in i usually take a hammer and just chop it up so that um it'll be all broken up now the ig 6006 is a little bit softer wax and what you want to do is you want to weigh out um 14 ounces of the ig 6006 um i've been using it so i use it just stick mine in the bag some people buy like a plastic container for their wax it's just up to you i just kind of like use a trash bag and um put it in there i actually gonna have to tear it because i tied the knot too tight so i'm gonna put my gloves on because again, this is like an oily type soft wax. And we're gonna weigh this scale out to a total of 16 ounces, okay? So I'm going to get my little soap cutter. And we're gonna get the scale up to 16 ounces. And if you want to cut it up in smaller pieces, you can, but with IG 6006, it's so soft, it just, it's pretty much meltdown. So you don't have to do a lot to it. I use, they use the meltdown, even with the two ounces of paraffin, that usually take the longest to melt down. We had 10 ounces now. Well, 
We're a little bit, we're at 16.44, so I'm gonna take a little bit off. 16.19, let me take a little bit more off. Now we're a little bit under. <laughs> Okay, so we at 16.12, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. It's okay to have a little extra. It's not going to do much. So we're going to leave a little bit of extra on now because I can keep trying to get it perfect. Let me see. That's right there, 16.01. So we right at the 16-ounce mark. I'm going to go ahead and close this bike up and put it away. I'm probably going to invest in a bin soon. Once I start selling even more of the wax melts. But for now, we're gonna put it back in the box and set it back up under the table. So we've got our 16 ounces of wax all in the pot. We're gonna head over to the kitchen. We're gonna set up the double boiler method and we're gonna melt it down to 185 degrees. That is where your thermometer is gonna come in because you're gonna need that to make sure that your temperature is at 195. So let's head to the kitchen. Okay, you guys, we are back. And this is the double boiler method. So I got my pot that I got from the thrift store and I got my wax pouring pot in the inside. I got a little bit of water boiling at the bottom. And as you can see, the wax has started melting down. Again, for this recipe, I use two ounces of paraffin wax and 14 ounces of IG6006. The paraffin wax is a 4625. When you mix it with the IG6006, it makes the IG6006 form a little harder that way when people are selling the clamshells you can break the six squares out and just put it into your wax melt without it all crumbling up or anything like that it, it's just it works out nice and another reason why i mix it too is because the 4625 paraffin straight straight paraffin wax only holds about a six percent fragrance oil when the IG6006 holds, I do 10% fragrance oil. And that's how I get that strong uh, fragrance oil smell when you, when you use the wax melts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stir, stir it a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and get it melted down. And we're gonna get the temperature to 185 degrees. And we're gonna pull it and we're gonna go ahead and mix our fragrance oil and everything at the right temperatures. Well, once we get it up to 185 degrees. Okay, you guys, our pot is at 185 degrees. You can leave your wax melts white, but I like to add a little bit of color based on the flavor. So that like this was banana nut bread, so I did a little, uh, just a couple of drops of yellow just to give it a yellow color. Like the watermelon, I did a couple of drops of red just to give it a light red color. So um, the Jamaica Bee Crazy flavor to me is like a wild and crazy flavor. So I got some fusion candle dye and I just add just six drops because I don't want it like, I'm not trying to get it like a bright, bright red. I just like to give it a little bit of color. And, it, and it's good too if you make your multiple um, white smelt at the same time, you'll be able to tell them uh, um, apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and take just a couple of seconds to mix that up. And then we're going to go ahead and measure out our fragrance oil because I like to add my fragrance oil at um, 170 degrees. So with the fragrance oil, you only need 1.7 ounces. So what I do is cut my scale on again and I take my little shot glass, I put it on there, and I tear it so it'll be down to zero. Now, if you have the, the samples from Counter Science, this is already a one ounce bottle, so I only need 0 0.7 more of my fragrance oil, and it'll make 1. Um, 1.7 ounces. 
And now if you buy a big bottle like this, you want to wear out the full 1.7 ounces. But because I have the smaller bottles, the Jamaican went crazy, they did not have it in the West Coast. I had to get it from a whole another location, which would cause a whole another shipping issue, cost issue. I just bought the sample bottles in Jamaican went crazy and bought the big, big one in um, the bamboo coconut. Again, those two flavors are my biggest selling candles and wax melts. So I don't have to wear out this bottle. So we're gonna go ahead and wear out 0.7 ounces for of Jamaica Me Crazy. Now, if you go a little bit over, it's okay. This is not like candles where you're gonna be lighting something and um, if you put too much oil, you can cause a flame and a seep to the top. It's okay, these are wax melts. So if you go a little bit over, it's okay. So now we wanna test to see the temperature to see what our temperature is at. Cause at 170, I'm gonna go ahead and add my wax melt, stir for about a minute and we're gonna go ahead and pour. So right now my temperature is at 173. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my clamshells. I like to bring mine a little bit close to the edge of the table. I don't know why, but it's easier for me to pour it. And like I said, this here recipe is gonna make seven. And once we finish with this video, don't forget in a few minutes, once we pour our wax melts, we're gonna go over pricing and how much you actually can make by you know just adding this to your side hustle. And the good thing about wax melts is they're different from candles. With candles, you got to be a little bit more precise. You got to make sure you got the right wax with the right wicks and it's like a whole science. But with the wax melts, it's a little bit more easier because you don't have to worry about wicks and things like that. So if you just want to get started in the candle business and don't know where to get started, while you testing candles, you know, trying to figure out what jars you're gonna use for your candle line and fragrance oil, where you're gonna get your, you know, um, wicks and things like that, you might wanna start with maybe some wax melts. Cause again, they are super easy to make. And this here recipe that I'm sharing with you guys is perfect, make perfect ones. I'm also gonna have a recipe inside the description bar, just in case I didn't go over anything but i went over how much wax for again 16 ounces of wax two total of two ounces of the 4625 and uh 14 ounces of the ig6006 and we need 1.7 ounces of fragrance oil now you can go ahead and check the temperature again but one thing about wax the minute you add your fragrance oil it drops the temperature so I already know that I'm under, a little bit under the 170 mark that I like to pour at. So I, we're gonna go ahead and pour these babies up. I use the stir mine for like a minute to make sure the fragrance oil get all the way through. You can time it, but with the, with the candle wax, as long as you stir it for at least 30 seconds or more, it's, it's gonna mix in well. Especially if you're using two, these two wax. Now it's other wax that you can use for wax melts. I'm just showing you guys my recipe on wax melts, what I use to make wax melts and what actually sells. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pour our clamshells. We're gonna pour them all the way to the top. I usually just take and pour into one of the holes and just let it spill over into the others until it's all the way filled up. Filled up. And let me tell you something. You can smell these wax melts already. That's one. That's a good sign when you pour your wax melts or you stir your wax melts. Once you add that fragrance oil, and you can smell the smell 
Because a lot of times when I make candles or wax melts, I don't even light a candle or wax melt for at least till like the next day. Because once you add that fragrance oil and it start to cool off and form, that smell be throughout your whole house. And if you want to purchase some of my wax melts, make sure you head over to my my um website, sidehustlequeencreations.com, and you can actually purchase some of my wax melts. Or if you follow me on one of my social media pages, you can always find me on Saturdays at one of my pop-up shops. And the good thing about the pop-up shops, I actually sell them for one dollar cheaper if you buy them in person but we're going to go over pricing next and there you have it seven white smells so we're going to let these sit for probably about, I let mine sit for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, once they get hard enough, I just close the lid down and let them sit overnight and then I go ahead and label them. But we're gonna head over to the workroom and we're gonna go over pricing and how much you would make off a 10 pound bag of wax melts. Cause when it all come down, a lot of people wanna know what I would make. So let's head over there and get, get that started. Okay, everybody, thank you guys for making it all the way to the end. That's why I saved this part for last because at the end of the day, if you're doing this for a business to turn a profit, put some extra money in your pocket, you're going to want to know if I do this project, what, how much money is going to put in my pocket? How much is I going to bring in? Can I keep flipping it? So we're going to talk about that. If you're just doing this project because you know you want to do some, some gift ideas or anything like that, then you... You can go ahead. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you watch the next one. But if you want to talk about the money part, stay with me. Now, there's several ways that you can sell these um, wax melts. Like I said, I use them as a pickup item at my pop-up shops. You know, because tumblers and coffee mugs, custom things like that, journals are my main focus. And I just want to increase the sale. So I make these candle waxes something that anybody can grab and use and have them on my table. Even people who don't buy some of my high-end items, like the tumblers and things like that, they grab the wax melts. So sometimes you have people come over and look, they might not want to cough, they might not want to cough them up, but they will take a wax melt. So these are perfect for like little grabbers um, to just increase the um, sales or even for the people that's not interested in some of the other items you got, everybody loves a good smell. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is you're gonna need 11 pounds of wax. That's how the wax come in from Virginia Counter Science. Remember these prices is based on Virginia Counter Science. They might vary if you buy yours from Counter Science or uh, the Woodwick Company or something like that. Hopefully you can find a candle company that's local where you can just eliminate the shipping costs and the cost for the wax will be a lot cheaper. But for the purpose of this video, I'm doing it based on what I purchased and how I got my wax and I got my 6,000 IG 6006 wax and my 4625 right from um, Virginia Counter Science from off Amazon. Now, so you for to make 11 pounds of wax, you're going um, it makes a total of 77 clamshells. So 11 pounds of wax um, is $35, and I will leave the links to all the stuff that I purchased right from uh up in the description bar now the 4625 and the ig 6006 i already had it because like i say i make candles so if you already make candles some of these supplies you probably already got but for people who starting out you need 11 pounds of wax 35 dollars on amazon igi 6006 um so 11 pounds of wax will make 77 candles that means 77 cats uh, that's um seven clam shells per pound. So each pound is going to cost you $3.19. So each clamshell that you make, the wax part, the wax that's in here to make this is $0.44 cent worth of wax. It's like the $0.44 cent worth of wax. Okay, the next thing you're going to need, if you're doing clamshells like this, I also get these from off Amazon. I got 50 of these for $13.99. I rounded it up to $14. So the clamshell, the little plastic piece right here, costs you 
28 cent per per wax melt okay the next thing you're gonna need is your fragrance oil now fragrance oil if you just like i said i have the little one ounce ones and i just this here pretty much can do seven clamshells and just a little bit out of a seven ounces out of 0 0.07 out of another bottle so what I did, one bottle of these cost um, $2.65, so I rounded it up to $3 because we do use a little bit out of the second bottle. And a lot of times, if I do like a bacon, like banana nut bread or a blueberry cheesecake, because I like a lot of bacon flavors, instead of opening up a whole new bottle of Jamaican Me Crazy just to get a little bit out, or the blueberry muffin, I just take a little bit of my oil that I get right from Hobby Lobby. They say a fragrance oil for candles, and I like to use the oatmeal and honey. It worked perfect with candle science, the baking, like banana nut bread, uh, raspberry cheesecake, blueberry muffin. So it works perfect with that. It gives you a just, like, smells like grandma's kitchen when you walk in the door. So a lot of times I just grab a bottle of that, keep it on hand and just add that little bit with the counter science and it works fine. So if you have a little bit of oil, if you're doing like a citrus flavor or something like that, and you have like some mango or something like that, and you're using Jamaican Me Crazy, just use a little bit out of a bottle that you already have. It's just a little bit of mixing. But again, for the oil, you're going to spend $3 worth of oil. And so for each clamshell, you are spending 42 cent worth of oil. Okay labels you need warning labels on the back i have i bought 600 of the uh, wax melt warning labels to go on the back of my clamshells i got 600 for ten dollars and 99 cents i rounded it up to 11 cents so one of these little labels cost you two cents so uh for the wax to make this clamshell is 45 cents for the clamshell itself is 28 cents for the fragrance oil is 42 cents worth of fragrance oil in each one and for the one label, you're paying two cents. Now, for the label on the front, I know y'all saying, oh, Virginia, you ain't add the cost for the label on the front. I actually use these free labels that I get from UPS. If you've seen my video on how to get free shipping supplies, I get these from UPS for free. I just made my labels using my thermal printer. And so my label on the front, I just created a simple label. Yeah, I got to turn right. A simple label with my name, company name, the the brands, and, you know, I, and I put it on there. No, the people don't even complain. Okay, so I, my labels on the front is free, so I cut that cost. So the total cost to make one of these is a dollar and seventeen cent. Okay, so it costs you a dollar and seventeen cent to make. So I sell my clamshells because they are handmade. I sell them for $4 a piece. $3.99 just rounded up one penny. So I sell them for $4 a piece. So with 11 pounds of wax, I can make 77 of these clamshells. So the total cost to make 77 clamshells is $90.09. So I don't spend $90.09 to start. If you just start now, you got to spend $90.09 to start a wax melt business. Just put your $100 to the side, you got your wax melt business. So if once I sell all 77 of these at $4, I will bring home $308 total, $308. So I, what I want to do is subtract the $90 I spent for all the material, the wax, the oil, the, the clamshells, the labels. So I subtract everything from that, subtract the $90.09, .09, and I actually make a profit of $217. I can pocket $217. And I can actually be rebuy everything and start a whole new set of 77. The good thing about making 77 um, clamshells, because you could do seven of the, 11 different flavors and have 77. Like some of these might be raspberry, some of these might be watermelon, some of these might be uh, blueberry cheesecake. You can actually make 11 different flavors. So it gives people a full variety and you don't start a wax milk business. Now, if you just want to, like, sometime, depending on the end of the day, um, at some of my pop-up shops, and I, you know, you got the little stragglers, you know, I use a, you know, run a sale the last hour, so I can set, sometime I sell them for $3. So, we're going to go over the total. If you go to the bare minimum of $3, what would your profit be? So, again, 11 pounds of wax will cost, will make 77 clamshell wax melts, which will cost you $90.09. You, um, at $3 a piece, you're going to make $241 total. Your profit will be $140.91. That's $140.91 $140 you can put in your pocket and then restart all over at, at, with more clamshells. So it's completely up to you. 
You can go up to five dollars if you can get five dollars for your clamshells. Six dollars that means your profit will go even more. I'm just telling you the bare minimum, three or four dollars. That way you can still turn a profit and still be able to continue to make white smelts. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Some people might sell their white. They were, oh, Regina, you selling your white smell too cheap? No, it's fully up to you what you're using them for. Like I said, I'm just using mine to increase my sales. It's I'm increasing my sales as well as I am increasing. Um, I am offering another product to people who might not want some of my items that I'm um, truly selling. So as you can see, I'm gonna hold one up. I actually can close it up. They're forming nicely. That the, these are the batch we just made. You go one not closed, nice and smooth. And they break off into the little sixes into your wax melts. So I hope this video was very informational. I know it's long. Thank you guys for watching it. Um, I hope this helped you guys with your wax melt business. I hope you understand a little bit about the financial part, how much money you're going to make, how much, it, even if you just start from scratch, how much you need to start from scratch. I wish everybody well on they, all the side hustles that they're doing. Thank you guys for watching another one of my videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.